Welcome back to Bedrock. With just one day left before the Horde and really no Horde base to speak of, the plan today is to focus on gathering resources for the big base build. Then we'll focus on construction overnight, and if there's any time left over, we'll work on tier 3 quest jobs for Trader Gen. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze, so let's begin. Alright, welcome back everyone. To start off today, we need to do a little bit of crafting, so let me gather up some of these resources and we'll get this knocked out real quick. Okay, I'm just cooking up some glue here. We're also going to cook up some pure mineral water for those. And the first item is going to be Ergonomic Grip Mod. Next up, we have the Weighted Head Mod. Gonna get a whole bunch of cobblestone rolling, and perhaps about 500 gunpowder after that. Turn that eight glue into eight duct tape. Got the ergonomic grip and the weighted head mod onto the new steel sledgehammer. And with that duct tape, we're gonna craft up two more dew collectors and that should do it. I've brought some food and I got some drink with me for today. And there's a little bit of a trick that I wanna try. Let me just put the resources away and I'll meet you topside. Okay, do collector number one, do collector number two. I think four is gonna be the cap. I don't think we'll need any more than that. And just if there's any in here, nope, just one. Grab that up, drink it. Don't have to worry about the jar. Okay, let's head over to Trader Jen's. All right, here we are. You know, can I make the, um, what's it called? The purified water filter mod thing? No, not yet, but that's gonna be such a game changer. You know, I, um, I was watching a tips and tricks video from Snowby the other day and, um, he suggested that you um, get a bucket, you take some water, you put it somewhere next to your base, and that way you can fill up on water if you if you have that mod. All right, I just want to check the vending machine here. Nothing I want. And uh, Jenny, Meds, yes, drugs. today is your restock day, isn't it? Let's take a look. She, she's got the level two steel sledgehammer now. That probably would have been more appropriate last time around. I feel like we made a big leap there. That's fine. I think there were some people uh, on the forums that were voicing their opinion about um, basically how OP trader quest rewards can be and the trader and like I mean that could have just as easily that been a thing. you know a pair of steel knuckles I just got lucky and it was the um, the steel sledge there okay so here's our experiment okay so if you're a fun pimp please uh, mute the video for the next minute or so and if you're not a fun pimp then uh, have a look at this so these are the player vending machines and I always thought that these were just for multiplayer, but I think they also work in single player, I've heard. So let's look at the value of this padded chest armor. 74, 51, 54. If I open up a player vending machine and I rent it for $2,500 for 30 days, and then I should be able to put stuff in here. Uh, yeah, look at this. This stuff is like five times as valuable. So I'm gonna toss these three things in the vending machine. And I guess there's a chance that you know, the game will just give you money for this and I'll be able to collect money out of this for the items that I'm selling. I don't know if it works in Alpha 21, this is gonna be the big test, but the real test here is, now that I can craft stacks, I got the proper mining book for that, let's craft a stack of stone. And so I was watching a YouTube video on this uh, a month or two ago and um, basically there's an exploit, it's probably a glitch I would say, that you can sell these stacks of small stone which has no sell price, but if you add it to the vending machine, 300,000 dukes? So I guess we just leave it there for a couple days and uh, see what happens. Now, if that if the game gives me 300,000 dukes, I'm not gonna take it. That's just, to me, that, that would be too much of an exploit. But I figured I'd share the information with you. Just make sure that you leave me a comment over the next couple of episodes. Remind me to go back and check that every time I'm here. I'll do the best I can, but that's the type of thing that uh, it's easy for me to forget. Okay, so now that that's out of the way and we've done our crafting for the morning, now we have to do some digging. And we have a quest over here. It is the uh, tier three infestation, I think. Yes, there it is at the silos. Okay, so before I start the quest, um, I was gonna do some digging because this is clay soil here, so. We should be able to harvest up some of this. I was thinking I might have to go to the wasteland for it, but no, I think we can just get it off of POIs. All these farms around here all have a ton of clay soil. But before I reset the quest, let's get a little bit of this free food here. Ah, yes, and uh, check on this as well for a little bit of glue. Not too bad. All right, just put all that stuff away so that I'm nice and nimble on my feet. 
And the reason I brought all that stone with me is so that I can just start crafting the cobblestone in my inventory. That way, by the time we get back to the base tonight, we will have uh, plenty of cobblestone for the big base build. So as I'm doing some of the menial labor here and digging up all this clay for the cobblestone, I just wanted to say a quick shout out. I try to do this once in a while just to say thank you to you all. It has been the best ever week on the channel ever since Alpha 21 dropped and it um, it's very validating when the channel does as well after I've been working really hard and yeah, I'm just about to level up. So I think I'm going to go until I level up, we'll spend the skill points and then we'll knock out this infestation quest. Okay, there it is. All right, let's snap this quest and watch all the dirt reappear. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And also I'll get the extra corn off of the field here. Oh my goodness, I just... Okay, so it's just an iron shovel, but still quality six out of that um, truck there. Oh my god, that would have done so much good because probably I can one-shot the ore now. Here, if I take the mods off of this, what if I take the hunter mod off? We'll just give that to this one and see if I one-shotting the soil now. Oh no. Really close though. I need to get a grave digger mod and we just had an airdrop come in somewhere. Where'd that go? Behind the trees over there somewhere. Oh my goodness, way off in the other town. Okay, we'll have to wait on that one for a while. We'll go check on Hugh at some point. Okay, so not only have I lived here before, but I've also uh, cleared this place out a whole bunch. So I should know where all of the zombies are. Got another one over here. Whoa, okay. A, a timing and aim is a little bit off. Okay, what is this? Is this the... So I watched a video recently by not only 25 and I'll try to remember and see if I can link that in the description, but it goes over all of the new pallets and bags and bu resource bundles and I actually learned a few things. I learned that there's like coal specific and nitrate specific bundles and you know what you can really expect to get out of each one of them. All right, trailer is clear. I think we're heading underground now, so there should probably be a whole bunch of zombies down here. Is this gonna just be clay again? I mean, I'll take it, right? I think there's also cobblestone sometimes. Okay, just wait for my stamina to roll back in. Oh, is this different? This looks different down here. Is this, oh yeah, there's a ladder on the back side there. I was gonna say, is this not the right way anymore? Or, no, okay, this um, smells like a trap if I've ever seen one before. Aha. Ooh, Jonathan McLennan. Oh, good morning, Killer Joe. Oh, well, I know, got another one over there. Took that like a champ. Here, take that. Take that. And done. Yikes. Okay, oh, I did have those skill points. Forgot to spend those. So we need to spend those immediately into Skull Crusher so that we have more of a stamina benefit using the sledgehammer now, the steel sledgehammer. And I'll take one of the shotguns for tonight. I wish I had more shotgun rounds. Maybe I could craft some. I, I'm pretty sure I do have some buckshot back at home. <gasps> Two rads? Yeah, so we've been talking a lot about how the difficulty of the zombies has increased here in Alpha 21, but this is just a little bit over the top. Okay, I killed one of them, I think. The armored one has not been killed. Lucha Lack, this one is. Tough one, too. There we go. Sorry, I didn't see who the other one was. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, the compass. There's zombies everywhere. Ha! Oh, boy. I'm running away. Fatal funnel. Oh, that was two excellent headshots there. I actually kind of like the uh, duck bill mod. Never played with it before until now, but um, it seems to work okay. All right, so far so good. Yeah, so these uh, infestations, man, the, the, re the reward is so poor for the amount of bullets, ammunition, first aid that you use to clear these out, but I think they're pretty fun. I like to do a good variety of things anyway. I don't want to just do fetch and clears all the time just because they're the best ones to do. Uh, oh yes, okay, over onto the ladder. Yeah, but I think the quest reward should be the best on an infestation personally, because, you know, just because there's the same amount of zombies in an infested tier 2 as there is in a, in a tier 3, you know, it's all about, like, zombies per square meter, right? Because if I, if I have to clear five zombies out per room instead of, you know, three zombies out per room, but I have to clear more rooms in the tier three, uh, you know, that makes the tier two infestation a lot more difficult. Kind of, like, exponentially more difficult. Okay, hopefully no rats. That would be a feral there. Lay big troll. Okay, easy does it so far. What's the uh, pathway here again? I know one of these, you have to go down inside and then out the other side. Whoops, okay, now I'm totally lost. Where am I going? Oh yes, just out and around on the pipe here. And that's one of the loots in one of these down here somewhere. Oh boy, oh jeez. 
Oh, okay, so... What, what's going on down here? Oh, jeez! Of course! Of course that's what's going on! Oh, rad's going on down there! Oh, boy. Yep. Who's that? Scott Allen. Get back. Reload. He's KO'd right now. Let's see if I can kill him while he's down. Jeez, man. Three rads already. Got zombies down there, too. Jeez, it's just not worth it. Not worth it at all. Gonna get myself killed here. That's not the way to... Ooh, here's the infested cache right here. And... It, good, but... Okay, that's actually quite good. That was like two full stacks of 762. Yeah, that was always the trouble with this place, is that I could never really... It just doesn't seem to follow a course, you know? Oh, jeez. Okay, zombie just made his way all the way over here from down there, from down at the bottom. Oh, I see. You just gotta kind of crawl your way back out, or... Jeez, I don't know. Hello? Yeah, I'm kind of keen on just making my own pathway because it's gonna be dangerous enough following the, uh, the designated pathway that the POI is giving me. Um, let's just go one grenade to soften these guys up. I don't want to run out of grenades before Horde Knight. That did it. Look at that. Like six zombies in one room. Ooh! Man, the shotgun's so good. And that's the button to the main loot, I think. Oh, we got more zombies down. Oh yes, the office building thing that's down there. Yep, forgot about that part. Well, grab the main loot first, I guess. And then the main chest here. Okay, got another sledger. I guess we can see if that one works on Horde Knight. I don't know why the... I never did find out why the level 1 robotic sledge that we were using on Horde Knight last time was not punching zombies. Yeah, I think we're all done up here. We gotta head back down to the office area down here. Oh yes, the ladder goes right down here, doesn't it? Perfect. Let's just go ahead and uh, test the sledge out, see if it works on the top. So the, the furthest I got in testing was that it just doesn't work when it's at bedrock, but if you like, if you get it up off the ground, it seems to work on like regular ground level. Yeah, come on out here. Let's just test this out. Yep, it works. We just gotta get it to work on Horde Knight. Look at it, how slow it punches though. <laughs> It doesn't work very well if you don't have the points into robotics. Okay, put those guys out of their misery, and we're done. Infested clear is over. Okay, I think it's probably time to, uh, we'll get our quest reward first. Oh, we'll check the vending machine. I mean, it's been a couple of hours. I don't know how long that takes, if it takes days or hours, but we'll see if we have any money yet. All right, survey says nothing yet. Oh yeah, and uh, the crafting skill magazine bundle is no longer guaranteed. I'm gonna go with, I think probably, well, we said we could probably craft some of our own shotgun shells. I'll take the bundle. Okay, so what about another job for maybe later on? I don't know. I don't know if I want to do another quest before the horde. I don't want to cut it too close, you know? Clear, fetch, um, partial to the I clears, I guess. Buy and go job. apartments. It's either that or me. savage I country. Ooh, will. I like the sound of that a lot better. Time. All right, we're off home to construct the horde base then. Okay, made it back. Just working on cobblestone, cobblestone cubes, and a couple of shotgun rounds. Not going to get very much here today. Limiting factor, of course, is paper because I have not been collecting paper at all, so that'll have to change. Crafting skill magazine bundle was good for, ooh, two, not three now. Right, okay, so southern farming, wiring, and electrical traps. Oh, and uh, we've unlocked mushroom seeds. I wonder, can I make lanterns yet? Oh, goodness, I can make lanterns. We need to get a few of those. Two of those, I suppose. And we're gonna have to wait a while, so I guess we'll just get started with torch light. Okay, so the first step in this process is gonna be to widen out this room. So I've decided, finally, that we're gonna do two fighting positions, one on each flank, and this central portion here, I think, will just be our entrance. So what we need to start doing is just carving out both sides of this all the way flush with the back wall. So now I just need to frame out what's gonna be the sort of the, the top and bottom border of this like fighting area, this whole wall on this side, and then just start lining the blocks. I'm also gonna have our fighting area on this wall kind of protrude out by one block. Okay, and from here I gotta start being super careful because I'm not 100% sold on what the design is going to be. So I'm just gonna frame it out with regular plywood shapes first so I can take them up and rearrange if I have to. Phew, okay, the lanterns are done so we can get some real light up in here. I'm gonna start working on the walkway because the, the way for the zombies to get up to us is probably the most important thing on any base. Now we just have to settle on a way for the zombies to get over to us and I'm starting to see that uh, this is what I like so I'm gonna start kind of 
hammering some stuff down. Now we need just some sort of a fighting position set up. I'm gonna try and do this out of my new favorite block shape and that's the baluster rail number two. All right, so let me show you what I've come up with so far. So we got the scaffolding plank upside down here to hold grenades and pipe bombs and such. And then there's these, um, the new baluster rails, number two. There's two of them facing each direction. And then uh, on the front over here, whoops, I've put these um, plate wedge 60 fillers to kind of hold on to the side and um, also in the front right here, which I think probably means, I'm not sure if zombies are gonna get stuck up on here and try to like, you know, jump on and crouch down like they do, <laughs> the weirdest thing ever. Anyway, on this side over here, we're gonna have automated vault doors eventually. We'll put those on switches some, somewhere inside so that we can regulate zombie traffic from one side to the other. And uh, we just need to beef up this system here, the, the way for them to get up. And uh, what I'm envisioning is zombies falling all the way down and just crashing onto the steps and breaking their legs. <laughs> Not that that can happen, but anyway, uh, they'll just be like walking up the stairs and then other zombies will be falling on their face as they walk up. It should be kind of fun to watch at least. Now all we have to do is figure out a way for the drawbridge, the uh, vault doors to link up with the regular system here. And the reason why I've recessed this by half a block is because um, I've been doing some testing for another base build lately and I really quite like the ability to shoot down on the zombies just a little bit because I feel like it gives you a better avenue for headshots versus them all being at your head height. So we'll see if that works. We'll see if I like this sort of setup tonight and if not, I can just easily knock it all out. I think uh, this can be solidified here and probably I'll just have one side open uh, you know that side i'll just take that down and we'll work on that later on no we don't even have access to the powered vault doors yet we'll have to do a mo power store or something see if we can get the schematic for that or is that a schematic thing or is that's a magazine thing now isn't it let's see electrician oh my goodness power doors we're way off yeah I, we'd have to probably get at least 80 magazines before we could craft that whoa okay so that's a ways away okay and then i'm envisioning this being a really good system here to um swing at the zombies and um interestingly the way i did this here this is four blocks for the walkway and um i think they're gonna they're gonna cluster up like three or four wide which is what i want because i want that good aoe knockdown with the sledgehammer and i should be able to knock them back straight off like this and then uh, what we should also do is put some grenade shoots in here somehow oh nice just cracked morning too so we should have a little bit better light here now right grenade shoot so where would i want to throw a grenade if i was going to do something like that probably you want it somewhere you know where it's going to hit the zombies that are falling down what if i put one coming out like right there and another one coming out right there do you think that would uh, catch the zombies pretty well or yeah okay yeah and closer to the middle too because we want to also hit the zombies that come crashing down and then roll down the stairs so i think this is the spot right here all right take that out there's a very special block you can use for um grenade shoots and what's the name of that it's like an arrow slit mod yeah the arrow slit half ramp i don't even know what utility that shape has but it works really well for little grenade shoots okay and that's gonna be coming down um we should probably put it like two blocks behind the fighting position so not right here but about right here okay there you go you can actually see the grenade shoot system right here and then in the top i will put in um like a cube hole just like that and then i'll put a hatch on the top of it and then let's just do a little quick test run here toss the grenade in and it should roll right down to the bottom and then detonate right in front of the zombies i think that'll work I'm gonna finish off the floor here and we should just move on to the walkway and the staircase outside in the drop area after that all right, let me see what I can do for a walkway system here. I had a, something interesting in mind, but I'm not sure if I can execute that within the game or not. Okay, so that's the system I've come up with right there. It's, um, I wanted to make it so that the zombies that fall on the side might just get deflected off the side. So that's, there's not going to be too much of a, like a log jam here on the top. I think it's going to look pretty cool. So we got the V2 plates on the side. These are just some, like, you know, sloped ramps and then the staircase in the middle. It's something we could play around with more in the future if we'd like, but for now that will do. There's just one more puzzle and that is how do I flush up an automated vault door, which, you know, in the future, just be blocks for uh, tonight, 
but how do I flush that up with this system over here? Okay, so that's what I've come up with. Of course, it looks really nice now with the blocks, but um, when it's the door, not sure how nice that's gonna look, but um, it's the best I can do for now. I think it'll work. Just nail that down to cobblestone. I think cobblestone will be plenty enough. I don't know that we'll see cops tonight. I, I think we'll probably see cops tonight. Maybe just not like a whole lot of them. Probably not gonna get into the feral cops just yet. Just gonna do regular cubes. We'll put them over to here. We will pull these up and we'll just have the one fighting position up until the time we can get um, some automated doors. I'm committed to giving this a fair try. I don't think that zombies will be able to squeeze through the opening, so I guess, you know, we'll find out. Speaking of that, let's just... Okay, we have 690 concrete mix. Let's do the outside. We'll do this piece here. And we'll, yeah, let's just do the whole thing. I was just going to say, like, if it doesn't work, I might want to knock it all out, but... No, I'll, I'll pay the price in uh, with time to carve all that out if I have to. I think that looks pretty good. I think it's going to look way better once we get it painted, too, because I'll have a, a whole bunch of different, um, you know, areas to kind of to paint in contrasting colors. Ooh, that does not need to be there. That'll just break. Got to be careful with the lanterns because they're pretty expensive to make. In fact, I think I'll just go, like, lantern light inside, put some lanterns in here like this, and then we'll just do torch light outside. Okay, the lighting is in symmetrically. Do we need that? We're gonna need that for now. Eventually, we'll have our own entrance into the base. We won't have to use this anymore. 9.30 in the morning. I think we have time to go out and maybe do one mission. Did I? Yep, I already grabbed a clear area mission. Yep, I think this will just about do it. This can just stay. I don't know what I'm gonna do there quite yet if I wanna put a window in. These are the grenade chutes. I think that'll work just fine. Might want to kind of solidify the wall there at some point, but not today. All right, the next big project will be to carve all of this out and um, kind of finalize the crafting area. I think we'll do that tomorrow after the horde. Oh, but there was one more thing to do, wasn't there? There, We've got to fix the uh, the top, you know, the, the zombie dropping mechanism. Just some uh, repairs, and I'm going to duplicate this system on that side as well so that we have some redundancy this time around. And since they broke these the last time, let's make sure they don't do that again. All right, that ought to do it. Also, while I'm up here, let's just um, let's just dig this whole rim out a little bit so it looks a little bit nicer. All right, there we go. Looks a little bit nicer. All right, I'm going to take a vitamin, and then I'm going to eat a whole bunch of sham sandwiches because I'm quite hungry. And then I'm going to go to Jen's and check her vending machine, buy a little bit more. Uh, the water is holding us back. I used all the water to make glue today. And then a painkiller to patch me up, and a mineral water to chase that down. Good as new. All right, let's go do a mission. But wait a minute. Speaking of food, let's uh, take care of this guy right here. Are you part... Are you... Oh, it's a wolf horde. Oh, that explains it. I was going to say, what the hell are you doing here? All right, let's get to work then. Well, off to a rough start already. The tire wolf was a lot stronger than I expected. There's still one more down there too. And my archery skill could use some serious work. I got no accuracy whatsoever. All right, that hurt just a little bit, but that's a lot of meat right there. And that's a lot of water too, and we definitely need that. We'll do a big cooking run tonight. For now, just put that stuff there and still growing here. All right, I'll meet you over at the quest then. All right, this is the place, a tier three savage country. I've probably done this place a dozen times, so no need to fret about it. Let's just blow right through here, kill all the zombies, and see if we can find ourselves a college jacket. That's it, quest complete. Oh, I've also found out recently that um, this one here, you know, it used to be that you could harvest those for acid if you'd read that book. I think it's Wasteland Treasures Volume 3, but now you have to do that when it's full of medicine. So if I find another one, I'll point it out. But when there's still loot inside it, that's when you smash it and you have a chance to get acid. All right, we'll start with the main loot and with whatever time we have left over, I will search the store and see if we can get some good clothing and dye out of it. I'm quite pleased to learn that they've changed this to a tier three because it definitely was not on the level of a tier four before. All right, what do we get for our efforts today? Mm, lucky looter, find more food and loot. That's 20% more food. Leather gloves can be scrapped. Tools digest and that's it. 
One more Savage Country box. And I think there's like a, there used to be a gun rack out front. We'll check on that in just a second. Is this gonna be anything up here now? Certainly no zombies. We've successfully cleared the area, but I think there's a duffel bag over here somewhere. Yeah, well, backpack. Home cooking. All right, just gotta poke through here. Yep, here's the gun rack. Ooh, a scope, not too bad. Nothing I'm ever gonna use, but pop it onto a tier six rifle maybe someday and sell it. Okay, all we got left is the clothing racks and lots of them. Oh my god, my last clothing shelf, and I finally pulled out a pair of black dye. A pair, a bottle, or whatever you call it. A couple of more shoe racks there, and I will take the boots. Gothic boots sell for a little bit, about 50 dukes a piece, and I crafted, I, you know, all this cloth. Might as well get myself a thick 44 flag and officially call this place thicked. No! Oh, five second rule. Right, it is uh, five o'clock, so that means it's time to get the heck out of here. I'll search. Ooh, is there a, like a mo power around here? That's what I'm going to be kind of trying to scout out in the next couple of days because I really want to advance my um, electrician magazines so that we can get those traps, the automated vault doors, sooner than later. Flannel shirts. Get hammered. Paper. I need the paper anyway, so I'm not too disappointed with that. Okay, let's go turn in the quest reward and then we'll go home. Oh, hold on a second though, before we do, we gotta open this up and do the whole thing where we, uh, we leave. We'll come back and loot that one up later. Uh, yep. Oh, geez, rads. Okay, leaving. Okay, very quickly then, uh, do we want to see maybe about a learning elixir or two? Sure, I'll take that. It's a good investment, I think. And get the quest Ooh, reward job. here. I knew you Ooh, could do it. um... All of these are terrible. I'll take the pipe bombs, though, and uh, I'll grab a job from her tomorrow. Any skull crushers, that's helpful. And otherwise, I think we're good. All right, everyone, I think everything is put away and organized. I've got all the power-ups, the buffs, the ammo, the guns, the bullets, the bombs, everything I can think of that we'll need for tonight. I'm cooking some food. It'll be ready at some point if we get hungry. Should be good for now. But the hour is late and our second horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. All right, here they go. They're making their way down the tunnel and over to the fighting position. Everything's going as planned so far. Let's just hope that we can hold out for the whole night. There's still a lot of work left to do on the base before it's, you know, 100% trustworthy. But um, everything should go well, I think. I think we've planned well enough. Melee's working exceptionally well. Let's just get a black strap copy in for the stamina bonus. But for the most part, whoop, oh, cop, direct hit. Oh, and he's gonna blow. Oh, geez, see if I can get a pipe bomb to blow him up first. Oh, that didn't work. Ow. Let's try that again. You gotta kind of yeet them down there quickly. Oh, another cop blew up. What is going on down there? What a mess. Yeah, it'll be nice someday if we can get some lights in here. Greg Golding, David Ward. Got a whole bunch of people here now. More ferals than I thought. So far, everything's going quite well. In fact, I don't even really feel the pressure right now to get the skull crushers or the recog out. I think I can hold them off well enough as is. Three skill points to spend. I think my plan is going to be to go into agility a little bit, get some parkour points ASAP. Parkour and run and gun. You know, I'm starting to get the sense that there's not, the whole horde is not down here, which kind of scares me. Is the whole horde down? Yeah, there's quite a few zombies here. I just, I'm afraid that they're gonna start digging, honestly. One thing I've been noticing more and more is that there seems to be some kind of a strange randomization element 
Like, you see how businessman just turned around and started swinging? I don't know if that's like their AI is messed up or if there's some sort of like unpredictability to it now, which would be bad. It would be bad if there was like some sort of a code where zombies wouldn't want to jump down here. They would just want to, they would go straight to digging. Oh, jeez, another direct hit. Okay, time for some first aid in. Yeah, there's not a lot of zombies down here. I'm getting real concerned about that. Yeah, I've just killed off 10 or 12 zombies. I haven't seen a single... Oh, nope, there's a few. Maybe they're just getting stuck up there. That does happen. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's a few up here now. Not, not as bad. Quite a good amount of ferals and cops in this horde. Not too- Oh, ooh, Bo, what are you doing over there? How did you get there, first of all? And, uh, second of all, get- get down from there. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm starting to remember there's a trick that you can do when, uh, when the zombies are not flowing down here. And that is you move back and forth, kind of like this. And that kind of shifts their direction and, uh, can help them fall down off the pillar if they get stuck up there. I forgot about that. That's why you gotta have four. It's You have to replicate the system that we have on four sides, and that way you just kind of move around the base periodically, and it'll unstick them from the wall. A whole bunch of ferals down here. My goodness, this is a tough horde for day 14. I love it, though. One of my biggest gripes about vanilla is that the hordes aren't strong enough, especially wandering hordes. We gotta probably mod that eventually to get some nice big 20, 30 zombie wandering hordes. And you know what? I'm starting to hear a whole lot of birds upstairs. And birds are really bad because they can um, they can start digging they, if they hit the ground enough. And if they create divots in the ground, zombies will want to go in those divots and dig as well. Yeah, I think one of the big focuses this next week will be to get a nice big concrete pad upstairs. Are there just a whole bunch of... Well, why are you guys doing that? They're all stuck on the freaking side. Okay, kill them all off before they break something. Okay, so maybe we do need to do some work on the ramp still and, and make that so they can't get stuck around the side like that. Uh, yeah, because suddenly... Oh, did they... Did they knock that block out there? And that's why they're all upset. Let's try and fix that. Copy rotation. Can I sneak that through here? Or probably just come over here and plug that. Is that... Oh my god, they're tearing right through the, the, the walkway now, the ramp. I'm not sure what ails them right now. Okay, that... No, they don't want to path up here. See, this is the thing. Like, nothing has changed. However, now they don't want to walk over here. Okay, a couple of them do. They're, they're changing their minds slowly, I think. Just takes them a minute. There we go. Okay. So, in that case, yeah, fix that up. Oh, well, that's great. I hope a whole bunch of zombies didn't start digging upstairs because they didn't think they could get to me. Is this just not going to be a good walkway system over to us, or... Or what's the deal? I don't know what to think about all this. Well, everything seems to be working better now. Yeah, things are things are okay now. It's just airburst a couple for these guys. Ooh, nice. Yeah, look at Steve right there. What is Steve doing? Why is he doing that? Huh, I don't know. Jake, anyway. <laughs> Not Steve. Okay, the bird problem upstairs is probably getting nothing but worse. I can hear so many birds up there. And, uh, again, I'm sort of starting to think that we don't have as many zombies down here. Right, okay, we just gotta shift position a little bit, kind of come over to this side. Hopefully they'll drop down a little bit better. Yeah, maybe not. Don't know. How about a grenade? We need new zombies. We need fresh blood down here, right? You know what I'm starting to think the problem is? Maybe. Is, um, is how this ramp kind of comes up to and immediately flushes up with this, um, baluster rail? Maybe that's what's throwing off their AI a little bit. I am hearing blocks breaking. I don't know if maybe they are carving into the wall down here a little bit. Maybe just toss a couple of these out for them. Ooh, five skill points to spend. Oh, that reminds me, I forgot to drink my learning elixir. That's okay. Save it for the next word, I guess. Yeah, I forgot to drink everything. <laughs> I haven't used any power-ups today at all, really. All right, I'm almost out of shotgun bullets, though, so it's time to lean into the pipe MG a little bit more. Yeah, I can see that they've broken some blocks out there again, but this time they don't seem to be having any issues walking over here. I'm not... I'm not 100% sure what the heck is going on here. <laughs> Strange things happen at Bedrock, I guess. 
starting to get really concerned with the amount of bro blocks breaking that I'm hearing. I have no idea where it's coming from. Oh, it's coming from them. Oh, they are. They're breaking the um, the walk, the uh, the ramp again. Oh, I don't even know if they can get up here at this point. Well then. Oh, that's bad. Okay, um, gonna have to take that loot back because it's messing everything up. Oh, nice, nice pickaxe there. And then, oh, sneak that in there. I don't think that'll help. I think they've already broken the friggin' the ramp there. Yeah, okay, I can probably go out there, though, and fix it somehow. Yep, just let me through here. And, um, please get out of the way. Oh, my God. Yep, they're, they're breaking stuff so fast now. Here, I can, I can break them back. Oh, the birds! Oh, okay. Just come outside, and the birds will come up to me a little bit. Okay. And, um... Yes, just, just briefly. Can I squeak that in there, please? Oh, it's morning. Thank goodness. Oh, boy. Ah. And then run over here. <laughs> Jeez, that was close. Fix that. Can you guys get up here now? Stop that. Stop breaking stuff. That goes for you guys, too. If you could fall down, please. Oh, they're still falling down. Okay. Well, we've got the explosives. Lean into that a little bit. Ooh, nice. Take care of you, and yep, I think the rest of you are just down here now. Oh, jeez, but there's so many zombies still falling down here. What the hell is going on? And a feral there. Veto. Whoop. <laughs> Very graceful. Ah, they're breaking stuff again. Stop that. Last two here. One and two. Done. Okay, so, um... Definitely, there's work to be done around here. Yeah, see how this ramp goes up to this shape here? I've had trouble doing stuff like that before. Maybe what we need to do is we need to pull this system here out by one block, and maybe that'll help. Hmm, I don't know. I might also have to, like, you know, spin up another world and see if I can uh, sort out what, what the hang-up is here on their AI. And then this whole thing needs to be redesigned, and thankfully the zombies have... Met me halfway on that one. All right, let's uh, loot up here. I wish I had a looting candy. I don't. And I don't have enough. Oh, didn't I say before, too, I wanted to go further into salvage ops and stuff? Okay, we got five skill points. Maybe we could split it between the two. Well, I don't know. We need agility four for parkour two. Okay, well, that gives us the extra jump height. I'll, I'll settle for that for now. We still need run and gun. We need salvage operations and lucky looter. Okay, I think that was all the loot bags, so let's have a look here. We got a shotgun, get hammered, we got cooling mesh mod, and otherwise not too, too much, and no shotgun rounds, which I was kind of hoping for. Little bits and pieces of ammo. Not the greatest, but then again, Horde Knight loot never is. Okay, did I, did I pull 2,700 brass out of those? That's weird. Not weird, I guess that's uh, that's pretty par for the course, I think. Okay, I got the ladder back topside, and oh yes, they were definitely getting stuck up here last night. And topside, oh yes, the birds were creating little divots in the ground, and somebody was digging over here. Holy Toledo, that's close. Yep, this all needs to be, this needs to be made into, uh, you know, cobblestone at least, if not concrete, eventually. I'll take the water with me downstairs and I'll get a little bit more stuff cooking and I should be able to now harvest up the garden. All right, let me just get some stuff organized and we'll pick things up in a couple of hours. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.